All right, all right. It's that time of the year again. It's Wednesday, December 13th. We here at the retiree luncheon. You still your retiree luncheon. We're here celebrating the last month of the year together. Yes, yes, yes. This is your retiree luncheon. Lloyd, say cheese. All right, brother. All right. All right. Give me a smile, everybody. Give me a smile. Come on. Give me a smile. Give me a smile, man. Give me a smile. Come on. Give me a smile. That's been good. That's been good. All right. Everybody's here. We got a nice crowd today here, yo. Beautiful crowd. Yeah. Gentlemen, season greetings, gentlemen. Season greetings, gentlemen. Season greetings. How y'all doing? All right. All right. Blessing, y'all. Blessing. Season greetings. How y'all doing? All right. Okay. All right. KK, give me a smile, KK. Young man, give me a smile. All right. Look. Look this way. Yeah. All right. Season greeting, everybody. Season greetings. All right. What's up, Adrian? Chocolate. Oh, all right, all right. Hey. You too, that's right. Hey. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. Hey, everybody. All right. All right, blessing. All right. All right, y'all. All right. Give me a smile, y'all. Give me a smile. What's up, sweetie? How are you doing? I was waving at him and I'm like, yeah, man. Yeah, that's me. It's me. My brother. Uh -huh. All right. Gentlemen, gentlemen. Season greeting, ladies and gentlemen. Season greeting. Give me a smile, Nick. There you go. All right. All right. All right. All right. Mr. Barrett. Yes, sir. Mr. Dean. All right, brother. Yeah, I got the video. I got the video going. Yeah, I got the video going. You know I do that every every month. Hold on, hold on. Thank you. We have Miss Angeline Bias here from the union. She's going to speak to us. That's right. But she's going to speak to us about what's going on with us. That's right. That's right. Our retirement plan. About our retirement insurance plan. Sure. Yeah. Employee of New York City Transit, member of TW Local 100. I'm a train operator. And the reason why myself and Lloyd Archer are here this morning is because you all by now probably have heard of that, about that our union has given back retired medical. Mm -hmm. And so, as an active employee, I teamed up with um, Lloyd Archer, Anita Quinn, Donovan Smith, and... <coughs> Julio Rivera, and they formed an independent retiree association that is called TWU 100R. This is a little different from what we currently are used to at TWU Local 100, as most retiree organizations are independent. Because they gave back retiree medical, we saw that it was eminent and that it was very important that we have an independent retiree association so that you can always protect your retiree benefits because you're no longer active members of TWU over 100. You have no voting right on the executive board. You just have a member there. You basically have no voice in the union. However, they have you paying dues into the retirees association. Yep. And it really is no benefit to the retirees. And how we know this now to be 100% true is that during this contract negotiation, they negotiated the, con the current contract on the backs of the retirees. Mm -hmm. So I noticed it and a few other people noticed it because I had been following what was going on in the city when it came to the Municipal Labor Council 
giving back the city employees medical. They were defeated in the city. However, because we are state employees, we have to take on our own fight. As of yesterday, the full we have now filed in Supreme, Supreme Court in Manhattan a temporary restraining order, which is an injunction, to stop the implementation of this new retiree medical that is coming down the pipe. Yes. How does this affect you? Anybody that's 65 years old, you automatically, once you turn 65, have access to traditional Medicare. Well, the union just took that out as an option, and you only have access now to um, Aetna Advantage, Medicare Advantage. Medicare Advantage is not taken in Memorial Sloan Kettering. It's not taken in um, New York Presbyterian. Stony Brook. Hospitals for special surgery, and also the I, um, what is it called? The I, I forget what the name of the, the I um, hospital is. But they don't take Medicare Advantage. Stony Brook Hospital. Stony Brook. Right. So wow. what that means is that anybody in this room, if you did not opt into Medicare Advantage, as of, of January 1st, you're going to be automatically enrolled. Right? So if you have any conditions, that are or scheduled for surgery, and you go in to have that surgery, the bill is most likely coming back to you. Hmm. Right? Because <laughs> Aetna has to first approve the surgery before you can have it. And that's why it was it was um, it was ruled um, against in the city was because it causes irreparable harm, meaning people have died waiting for Aetna to approve their yep, care. That's right. Now that we've started this campaign to get this up and running, this is where we need your help. The legal fees for doing this is a lot. If everybody gives in a little bit, it's not much. We're only asking $100. $100, if you can't give $100, it can be $25, $10, $15, whatever. Whatever you can give so that we can be able to meet the legal cost that it's going to take to take this on. Right? So it's the only way we're going to be able to, to defeat it. But we're in a good position because the TRO is filed. It's been filed before the beginning of the year. We're waiting for the court to pick it up. And once the court picks it up, they assign it to a judge, and then we prepare for a hearing. They listen to our argument of why we need to stop, and it is stopped. We're hoping the same judge that heard it in the city will be the same judge that picks it up in the, in, um, on our side in the state so that they're familiar with this move that's been going on by the city and now in the state. So this is a serious, serious um, situation going on. Yes? So being, so being under 65, I'm still entitled to traditional Medicare, uh, Well, no. Until what happens is when you turn 65, it's when you go into Medicare, right? Before that, you're not, you don't have to worry about Medicare unless you retire with a disability, right? But eventually, once you turn 65, your traditional Medicare option will be gone. Well, so far, it's not an option. But you are a regular Aetna if you don't have a disability and you're under 65. But you have to participate because you're a retiree and you will be. Thanks. Thanks. I have a question. Now, suppose you get Medicare now and you still have Medicare and you have children under 26. How that work? The thing, well, because they gave it back, if you don't opt into Medicare Advantage, if, are, are you over 65? So if you're not over 65, you'll still be in there for now. But once you turn six, um, 65, and if you have any medical conditions, it's going to affect you. You will not have, um, you won't have the Medicare option. What she didn't, what she didn't say, she kind of alluded to how much it's going to cost. It's going to cost us anywhere in the vicinity of fifty to sixty thousand dollars because they're going to appeal this, and then we're going to have to file again. 
like she said, the lawyers are crazy. The most we got, which is a shame, was $3,000. There's 22,000 retirees from transit. I've been all online begging for money. Just a very few response. This is very, this, this, this is really important. Like she said, if this Medicare Advantage takes over, well, they're hollering about it's enhanced, it's enhanced, it's enhanced. I know that if something is enhanced, it's better. But if you go to Sloan Kettering and they don't take it, that's not in hand. That's right. If you go to special surgeries, that's not that is not in hand. You're losing stuff. And you got to know that Medicare Advantage is a for-profit company. That's why they have to approve everything. If it costs too much money, they're not going to approve it. If you go to your doctor now with regular Medicare, he said, okay, you need to go get a stent. The next day, you go get a stent. You got to wait maybe six weeks to get a stent waiting for a... Um, Medicare Advantage, that's the raw part of it. And these are the parts, I understand Momo was here last week, I wish he was here now, and he was feeding people a bunch of bullshit about how great this is, silver sneakers. Yeah. If you go to Planet Fitness as a senior citizen, you get a discount. Accessor ride, you show up your pass, you ride for free. What kind of, you don't need all that, 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 all that crap they talking about. And then, <clears throat> they're saying that you get $2,000 back at the end of the year. Where's that $2,000 coming from? No corporation just don't give you money for nothing. And they're not explaining that stuff to us. So many hidden things that they don't know. They don't know themselves, but they're selling it to us. Mm -hmm. So y'all need to join this fight. And uh, we have a website. And if you can, just <laughs> donate, please. Oh, yeah. So another part of this is Marianne Pizzatola, who helped to get it defeated in the city, um, is, is helping us. She's been the person that has been guiding us along to help us get it quickly so that we understand what to do and to get it in. Um, because it's very important that we win as well, because everybody is still fighting in the city. It's been appealed in the city, um, but we're still fighting. It. We're still fighting it in, um, in the city. Also, all right, with that's all, folks. R, Until next time. See you next year. God bless. So what it will serve.